I picked up sewing about eight years ago. Mostly I do smaller scale stuff. Uh, I've done a couple craft bags and those were mostly just kind of to, to test the waters and get used to sewing. But ever since then I've done some bigger stuff like I've made a purse, dress, set of gloves. Another project I've done recently is this quilt that's back here behind me and today that's what I'm going to show you how to make. I'm going to show you how to sew a quilt. Some of the things you'll need are thread, pins, the size squares that your pattern requires, scissors, and a sewing machine. Something that you want to keep in mind is that whenever you cut your squares, you'll want to add an additional inch on to whatever you measure. Like for example, this square, I want to end up being about two and a half inches, so I'll cut it at three and a half inches. That way, around this border right here, I'll have a half inch margin on each side. It isn't necessary in this case, but whenever you have squares that have patterns on the fabric, you'll want to have those facing inwards into the design. That way, whenever you finish sewing, where the seam would be right back here, it'll be exposed so that you can actually see the pattern of the fabric. Here, on these two pieces of fabric, I've put tape to represent the bad side or the side that'll be sewn. And now we're ready to start sewing. And what you'll do first is line your square up here with a half inch margin so that you know that's the spacing you'll need. And you'll put the foot down, so which will lock the square into place and keep it from wiggling around when you actually sew it. Take care of these little strings back here and hold on tight to them because then you'll actually feed this needle through and then you'll rotate it towards you. And do this about two or three times just to get your actual threading started. Okay. And you'll bring it back up to its default position. At this point you can let go of these strings back here. Then you'll just slowly start this foot pedal. And then start it slow and just get it to a good point where you can feel through. Once it gets all the way through, you can bring the foot back up and then make sure that the needle comes all the way back up to its starting position just so that it doesn't get caught on the foot when you bring it out. From there, you'll just take this square, pull it all the way out, hold onto the string when you cut it so it doesn't go back into the machine, let it go, and then here we have our first square. I've taken two of these squares and have placed them together and pinned them. That way, whenever it's these two colors, I've made them alternate on the back so that whenever the pattern's actually finished being sewn, you can open it up and the pattern will alternate. So now that you're finished following all those steps, you should have something that comes out looking like this. This is the most basic part of a quilt, only made of the four squares, but eventually you'll add more on to it, and that'll create the entire blanket altogether. And now you know how to make a quilt. <laughs>